MCI ADP Studios. Thank you so much for checking out today's video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to structure a song. So I'm going to show you four or five different examples on how you can structure a song, some of the most popular ways. You know, there's a, a million ways to do it, especially if you start getting into structures of like technical metal music. But today we're going to focus more on like pop and hip hop type song structures that are the most popular ones. Real quick, before we get started, if there's anything you get out of this video, please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be bringing you more videos like this to hopefully help you guys along your music journey. Like and subscribe. Really appreciate it. So let's jump into this and uh, head over to the screen where I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this in FL Studio today. And then I'll kind of show you some basic song structures and what that looks like. If you look at my song structure here, the way this is laid out, and a lot of this does have to do with like BPMs as well. So you got to be mindful of that because if you're doing more of a hip hop, more along the 95 BPM, your bars and things are going to be stretched out right here. You can see on the screen because these are the bars. Two of these is one bar. That's how it's blocked out. So if you look at your song structure, sometimes you start with like an intro and it's almost like a buildup and then it goes into kind of the drop usually. And usually the drop is going to be your chorus. So th then we'll have this chorus that bounces in here. So let's go over the intro first. So here's your intro. So it kind of builds up there and even though there is eight bars here, you could build these as eight blocks. You can see them right here. Each one of these is a bar. So it's kind of like a four bar intro. See, I do have this, um, I do have this on 160 BPM. And if we go back here, we can kind of see. So I have the melody play for the first four bars. And then I have a chorus that comes in for eight bars. So usually with your chorus, that is your repeating part of the song, your main theme, usually the driving lyrics behind the song and usually what it's about or the catchy part of the song that usually repeats multiple times. So here's your chorus and then that goes basically two times. So here's one and here's two. So it goes double of your intro. So your intro is four and then you have an eight bar chorus. So let's just check that out coming in from the intro where it drops here into the chorus. <laughs> intro and then your chorus so you get the main theme of the song and then the next part right here is going to be basically where the verse comes in so on how i do my verses i'll go double of what the chorus is because then it, this is your verse and then for me i usually kind of break the beat down a little bit so when the artist comes in they have more room to work and it more specifies vocals on the verse so it kind of sounds like this So then it kicks in a little bit and then it goes double time of the chorus and then it kind of drops back down, which there's a way that you can do this here where I have 16 bars, as you can see up here on the screen, and then an eight bar chorus, but the 16 bars right at the end. So here's 12. So here's one, here's four, here's eight on this one. And then you go to this next block right here. That's 12. And then on the last bars through 16, I break it back down almost like an intro. And you'll see right here. So then it builds back into the chorus. So there's an ebb and flow of the song. And those are good just tricks of how you actually structure a song. So the whole structure of the song goes like this. And I'll show you how you can do two options on this one. So this is what this looks like here. 
So you got your intro, and then you got your chorus right here. Okay, so here's your chorus. Boom. Into the verse. And then chorus. Same verse again. So you have two verses and a chorus. So basically you have intro, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. And then the nice thing is, is you could do a 12 bar verse and then you could use this space basically where the intro pops before the chorus again as a pre-chorus and you can do a four bar pre-chorus so then a pre-chorus re usually repeats itself both times or it's kind of similar both times and then it goes back into the chorus so i'll show you a couple other arrangements that we can do here here's another option that you can do for our structure of a song so you got your your build up here and then it goes just right into a verse so you could go right into a 16 bar verse right here so it kind of builds up kind of builds up here then you can do your lyrics over this part same kind of thing where it drops down here could be a pre-chorus or you could just rap or sing through this part and then it goes into a chorus so then this structure is intro with a verse chorus verse chorus and then the difference is on this one i added kind of a bridge after the second chorus and then after that bridge you could go back into a final chorus if you want to do the chorus three times depending on how repetitive you can be and as you can see just with these two examples there is a lot of different ways you could do this Actually, I kind of showed you three examples because the first example has the pre-chorus. It just depends on how you write your lyrics on that part. You know, another option would to be not even have an intro. And you could almost come right into this too. So here's like a fourth option you could do. You could start the song right with a... You know, you could start the song with a verse right off rip if you wanted to. And then you could leave it the same with a chorus. When you're dealing with structures of songs, though, there is an unlimited possibility. But at the end of the day, the listener does like to hold on to something. Interesting structures are definitely awesome. And they definitely stick out. But it just depends on what kind of listener you're going for. But the first example I showed with the chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus three choruses and two verses with an optional pre-chorus in there. Like I said, if you go that route, that is usually the most popular song structure. And then I'm using 160 BPM. So if you keep it at that, you will notice that the song will probably be around three minutes, a little over. Now I'll show you a quick example of if we change the BPM of this. We'll go down a little bit, just so I can show you what the grid looks like real quick. I don't want to say this because this ain't the BPM I have, but um, let's go back to our original arrangement up here. And so, so see how slow the song is now? This arrangement not, might not work because of how slow it is. We might only want to use this as an intro now and then half of this chorus and then half of this verse because it is so long. Because now this eight bars that we had on the 160, two of these made up eight bars. Well, now only one of these at a lower BPM will make up eight bars. Hopefully that makes sense. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, yeah. So right here, if it's a lower BPM, these eight bars will actually happen in a less amount of time. So this would be a whole eight of a chorus on this one. Maybe a bad example just because of the way the sample and all that doesn't really work because I would, I would change the snare so it's more upbeat. It would be kind of something more along these lines here. Because if you're working in 95, you're going to put the snares at a different spot. So it might sound more something like this. But now the kicks are off too, but you, you kind of get it. So. With that being said, there are four or five ways that you can structure a song there. 
and hopefully that helps if you're an artist or producer you can kind of see how songs are structured and what that maybe looks like so if you got anything out of this video i really appreciate a subscribe a like and a share please comment below what it was that you got out of this or any questions you may have i really appreciate your time and uh peace out much love